Hi viewers, welcome back to Siri Algorithms YouTube channel. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. In this video, I am going to explain about the conditional statements in Python. So, conditional statements are essential for programming and it allows you to control the flow of the program based on the condition that we specified. So, in Python, there are mainly four types of conditional statements are there. If, if, else, if, elif, elif, else and nested if. So, in this video, I am going to explain the if, if, else. I am going to show you the syntax and coding. So, please walk through with me. Let me open the Jupyter Notebook. Please wait. So, if is a simple conditional statement. Uh, let me take one example. Here, I taken one variable age int of input of enter your age so input is a inbuilt function in python it takes only the string data type but age is not a string it is integer that's why data type conversion i'm doing string to int let me write the conditions if start with the keyword if condition if age greater than or equal to 18 and with colon indentation write the print statement print of congratulations you are eligible for eligible for voting let me execute. So, if the user enter the value 19, you can see first it will check the condition. So, age here it is 19. So, the condition you can check 19 is greater than 18. So, expression the condition is true here. So, when condition is true, the if block statement get executed. So, if block statement is congratulations, you are eligible for voting. What in case if anyone enter the less than 18, let me take 17. So, there is no alternate print statement if condition becomes false. So, 17 is not a greater number, 17 is not a equal number, that's why condition is false, but there is no print statement, there is no else block here, that's why there is no output. Let me take one more example, civil score, int of, input of, Enter your Sibyl score. If write the condition, if Sibyl score is greater than or equal to 720, print of you are eligible for. For loan, submit all the documents. So, let me execute. So, they are going to enter the user going to enter the civil score here. If his civil score is 730, 
condition is true when condition becomes true the if block statement get executed if condition is false maybe 680 is the sibyl score there is no alternate print statement that's why there is no there is no print statement here so let me show you if else take the same example i am going to write a else statement here else conditional statement print of sorry you are not eligible for voting let me execute so if he enter like a 19 So 19 is greater than 18. Condition is true. So the print statement get executed. Congratulations, you are eligible for voting. If anyone enter like a 17, alternate print statement. That means else block get executed. So 17 is not greater than 18. That's why condition is false. So in that scenario, else block get executed. Sorry, you are not eligible for voting same like let me take the same if you take the sibyl score here if i am going to write the else print of you are not eligible for loan Let's execute. If I enter like a seven thirty, seven thirty is greater than seven twenty. Condition is true, so if block statement get executed. If anyone enter, the Sybil score is six eighty, so alternate statement else block get executed because condition is false. You are not eligible for loan. So. thank you in next video i am going to show you some more examples with the if else so don't forget to subscribe the channel see you in next video thank you